What's up guys, Scuba Max here. This is part two of our trip to Utila. After a few days on Utila, we decided to rent a quad and go exploring. Our first stop was Pumpkin Hill Beach. Mateo was a great driver, but the roads were a little bit bumpy. but not in this moment right now, so we're okay. So this is Pumpkin Hill Beach. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, nice waves. Hmm? So much garbage. It was really sad to see so much garbage on such a remote beach. This was a good reminder for me to do my best to reduce, reuse, and recycle my waste. Next up, we followed the coastline and found this cute spot called Iron Shore Beach. Pretty crazy, but luckily Matteo had driven in many countries all over the world, so he felt pretty comfortable. Nobody on the road. There were quads, bikes, pedestrians, and dogs all over the road, and often quads would be parked on the road, so there was only one lane open. If you 
didn't pick it up, we were obviously joking here, pretending to be locals. We were definitely also way slower than the locals. And back to sandy gravel roads. This was a nice beach where a lot of the local kids would swim. It was really cool to be driving along the ocean. It was such a beautiful view. We eventually made our way to the Utila Chocolate Company. Mm. We'd heard that the best view of Utila was on top of Pumpkin Hill, so we were trying to get there, but got lost on some dirt roads along the way. There's other people. They found they, they found a paved road. Adventure trail. Following the yellow stick road and flip flops in like plus 40. Oh my. <laughs> oh god. Hiking in flip flops. Oh god. I don't know, man. Can't we see you anymore? <laughs> oh my god. Ow! The tree got my hat. You see an opening? Yeah? Oh my god, I wish I was wearing pants. Oh god. What was there? Oh. What the hell? Working off that ice cream. Yeah, it's like a jungle on top of a mountain. It's cool. No dying today. Wow. Okay. Wait for me. <laughs> It got dark all of a sudden. Wait for me. Oh god, the palm trees. Whew. It's freaking hot. Where is this beautiful view? The mighty jungle lines leaves tonight. Oh, there's a big tree right here. Oh, finally. Oh my god. Oh my god, look how rested it is. I'm what? In there? Yeah. How? Goes all the way up. Have fun. Come on! <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> You're not coming with me? Yeah, yeah. You gotta get up there for the view. Yeah, there ain't no fucking view right here. No, you can't come halfway. Oh man. I can't believe Mateo convinced me to climb up this tiny, rusted lighthouse. You coming? Oh god. You coming? Yeah, yeah. You still look down. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait for you to be at the top. You sure? <laughs> I don't know. Windy as fuck. Oh shit. I'm coming. 
That required a surprising amount of upper body strength, but somehow I made it. Hey, you scared? No? It's pretty fucking windy up here. This is all of Utila. Right here, at the top of the lighthouse. Yep, that was the airport. Best view on Utila. Max is scared as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gotta show it down here. Look at this. All the way down there. You can't even see the bottom is so far down. Look how far down up we are. Hiking down in flip-flops was really hard, so I just slid down on my bum. <laughs> on our way home, we bought some delicious lychee and then had two-for-one pizzas for dinner. The next morning, we were surrounded by dolphins. The captain asked us if we wanted to jump in for an additional cost, and of course, we said yes. Unfortunately, the dolphins felt threatened by us and just dove down into the deep, so we didn't really get a good look at them. It was cool to see them, but this type of interaction just didn't feel right, so we decided to opt out of this opportunity on our next boat trips. Also, it was pretty spooky to just look down into endless blue water. way more fun diving anyways. I was so excited to spot this little guy, but unfortunately he hid before Mateo could get a close-up picture. However, Mateo did take some beautiful pictures of other things. Later on, we found this adorable iguana while waiting for the ferry. And then I got Mateo to film this huge spider. We got on our little ferry and headed to Coral Beach. It was really cool to see all the mangroves around us. Look at all these fish jumping. show the beach to ourselves. Amazing. 
We didn't bring our snorkeling gear, but ended up wishing that we had. So we just relaxed on the beach and saw some pretty things. We finished our evening with tacos at Ito's Place Bar and Grill. This was our last day of diving on Utila, so I made sure to film as much as I could. look at Mateo's pictures. On our last night in Utila, we watched the sunset one last time and had dinner at Captain Willis. It was finally time to leave Utila, so we took a taxi ride with all our gear to the ferry terminal. While waiting for the ferry, we got to watch these four iguanas basking in the sun, and they had some pretty sweet head bobbing moves. Alright, ferry's here, time to go! Peace out, Utila. Once we got to Rotan, we had lunch by the water and we were immediately distracted by this super cool ray. This was my first time ever seeing a Caribbean whiptail stingray. It was really cool to watch it displays the sand to try and find food. These guys are listed as endangered, so it was great to see a large, healthy individual. They do have a venomous stinger for defense, but stingrays are not aggressive towards people, unless provoked of course. Here you can see two shark suckers attached to the tail of the stingray. Next up, we do one last day of snorkeling, we find a wreck, I meet the cutest puppy in the world, we have our last drink on the beach, and then we fly home.
Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Adios.